Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record, the channel that covers the latest developments in China's technology sector. Today, we are going to discuss how China's tech breakthroughs have shocked the experts, and how the U.S. is preparing new sanctions to further suppress Huawei and SMIC, two of China's leading tech firms. In the last episode, we talked about how Huawei and SMIC achieved a breakthrough in developing a new powerful chip for Huawei's smartphones. This news has alarmed the U.S. lawmakers, who are planning to impose new sanctions on China's tech industry. What are the possible sanctions? How can China find ways to evade them, as it has done before? Stay tuned to find out more. Part 1. The Chip Breakthrough Huawei Technologies, one of the world's leading smartphone makers, has launched a new model, the Mate 60 Pro, that features a powerful chip that has caught the attention of many experts. The chip is believed to be made by SMIC, a Chinese company that is the largest semiconductor manufacturer in mainland China. This is surprising because SMIC was supposed to be unable to make such a chip after the U.S. imposed sanctions that cut off its access to foreign chip technology. The U.S. sanctions were aimed at preventing China from developing its own advanced chips and challenging the U.S. dominance in the global semiconductor industry. However, it seems that SMIC has found a way to overcome the U.S. sanctions and produce a new 5G Kirin 9000's processor that is exclusive to Huawei. This processor is based on a 7 nanometer technology, which is considered to be very advanced and competitive in the market. A Canadian research group called Tech Insights confirmed that the Mate 60 Pro had this processor after they took apart the phone and analyzed its components. This is a huge tech achievement for China, according to analysts from Jefferies, a financial firm. They said on Tuesday that this could make the tech competition between the U.S. and China worse in the future. They also said that this could boost China's confidence and motivation to invest more in its domestic chip industry and reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. China has been trying to achieve self-reliance in the chip sector for a long time, as it considers it to be a strategic priority for its economic and national security interests. The U.S., on the other hand, may not be happy with this development, as it could undermine its efforts to contain China's technological rise. The U.S. may consider imposing more sanctions or taking other actions to prevent China from gaining more ground in the chip sector, which is vital for the development of future technologies such as AI and 5G. The U.S.-China tech rivalry is likely to intensify as both countries compete for global leadership in the chip industry. Part 2. The New Sanctions The U.S. lawmakers were not happy with the news of Huawei's new phone and SMIC's capability of making a powerful chip. They feared that China was gaining an edge in the chip industry, which could threaten U.S. national security and global competitiveness. According to CNN Business, two U.S. congressmen urged the White House to tighten the export controls on China's chip sector. They wanted to stop any U.S. technology from reaching Huawei and SMIC, which they accused of violating U.S. sanctions. One of the congressmen was the chair of the U.S. House of Representatives Committee on China. He wrote a letter to the U.S. Commerce Department on Wednesday, asking them to end all technology exports to Huawei and SMIC, according to Reuters. He claimed that SMIC may have used U.S. technology to make the chip for Huawei which would be a breach of the U.S. sanctions that banned any U.S. origin items from being sold or transferred to Huawei. He said that this was a serious national security risk, as it could enable China to develop its own advanced chips and challenge the U.S. leadership in the semiconductor industry. The other congressman was the chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He also expressed his concern about China's chip ambitions in a statement quoted by Reuters. He said that he was worried about China trying to get a monopoly in the manufacture of less advanced computer chips, which could give China an advantage in the global market. He said that the U.S. needed to act quickly and decisively to prevent China from achieving its technological goals and to protect its own interests and allies. 
Do you know what happened right after the two U.S. congressmen said those things? The stock market went crazy and the shares of SMIC, which is short for Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, dropped like a rock. They went down 8.3% in Shanghai and 7.6% in Hong Kong on Thursday. That's a lot of money lost in one day. And it wasn't just SMIC that got hit. Hua Hong Semiconductor, which is the second biggest chip maker in China, also took a big hit and fell 5.8%. That's because the investors were scared that the US would put more sanctions on China's chip industry and make it harder for them to do business. The news of Huawei's new phone and SMIC's new chip showed that China had made some progress in its chip quest. But the U.S. didn't like that and wanted to stop them. That's why the two U.S. congressmen said those things and made the stock market go crazy. Let me remind you why Huawei and SMIC and other China's tech companies are in trouble with the U.S. Huawei is a big phone maker and SMIC is a big chip maker in China. They both need U.S. technology to make their products. But the U.S. doesn't want them to have it because they think they are a danger to their national security. The US thinks that Huawei and SMIC could use their technology to help the Chinese military or spy on other countries. Huawei and SMIC say that's not true, but the US doesn't believe them. So, what did the US do? They put Huawei and SMIC on a blacklist in 2019 and 2020, respectively. That means that any U.S. company that wants to sell or give technology to Huawei and SMIC has to get a special permission from the U.S. government first. And the U.S. government is very stingy with giving those permissions, because they want to make it hard for Huawei and SMIC to get what they need. The U.S. hopes that by doing this, they can slow down or stop China's tech development and keep their own tech advantage. But China is not giving up and they are trying to find other ways to get around the U.S. sanctions and make their own technology. That's why Huawei's new phone and SMIC's new chip are such a big deal, because they show that China can still make some progress despite the U.S. pressure. Part 3 Evasion The two congressmen's statements reflected the growing tension and competition between the U.S. and China in the chip sector, which was seen as a key area for the future of technology and innovation. The U.S. had been trying to curb China's chip development by imposing various sanctions and restrictions, but China had been trying to overcome them by investing more in its domestic chip industry and finding alternative sources of supply. The news of Huawei's new phone and SMIC's new chip showed that China had made some progress in its chip quest, which could pose a challenge to the U.S. dominance in the chip industry. Huawei and SMIC have shown that the U.S. sanctions can't stop them from making progress in tech, but they can slow them down a bit. China knows that it needs to be more independent and resilient in tech, so it has been spending a lot of money on it. According to Reuters, China is going to start a new fund that will support its chip industry, which is very important for tech. The fund will have about $40 billion, which is a lot of money. This will be the biggest fund of its kind in China, and it will help China catch up with the US and other countries that are ahead in chips. Chips are like the brains of tech devices, and they are used for things like phones, computers, and AI. China wants to make its own chips, so it doesn't have to rely on other countries for them. The US doesn't want China to do that, because they think China will use them for bad things or become too powerful in tech. Part 3 What's next? That's all for today's episode of China Record, where we talked about how China's tech breakthroughs have shocked the experts, and how the US is preparing new sanctions to further suppress Huawei and SMIC, two of China's leading tech firms. The US-China tech rivalry is likely to get worse in the future, as both countries compete for global leadership in the chip industry which is crucial for the development of future technologies such as AI and 5G. Thank you for watching to China Record, the channel that covers the latest developments in China's technology sector. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. See you next time on China Record.